Improvisation lies at the very heart of jazz and it thrives on spontaneity and experimentation. You may expect jazz musos to be a restless bunch, but three kindred spirits have formed a tight trio of musical innovators. They're called The Kinsmen. And now, let's find out more about their debut album. In the strictest sense of the word, a kinsman is a blood relative. But for Muhammad Dauji, Dhruv Soda and Shilesh Pillay, the bond forged by their love of music has made them brothers in all but name. The trio hail from Lodium on the outskirts of Shwane, and their music draws an Indian classical, avant-garde and South African jazz roots. Kriya met up with them at a jazz club in Sophia Town. Music has really grown and developed over the years and nowadays we are seeing instruments that are traditionally used in one genre crossover into another. And a band in South Africa that's flourishing in this is Kinsman. Mohamed Dauji plays the tenor sax with Dhruv Soda on the sitar and Shilesh Pillay on tabla. The trio has completed a highly successful national tour and launched their first album at the National Arts Festival Fringe in Grahamstown. Kinsman, thank you so much for chatting to me today. What is the kind of music that you're trying to create? For us, it's about what are we trying to achieve with the music? And for us, that's about a message. That's about understanding who we are. That's about understanding the music of our heritage, which is the music that we're dealing with when we compose and when we play this music. The sound that results from that, we just hope for that to be authentic and for that to be an honest representation of that journey or that undertaking. So brand new album out, Window to the Ashram. You guys all have different backgrounds. How did you come together to create the sound? It's probably the Indian South Africanness in us that brought us together. The fact that our schools of music are presented in a very orthodox way in our country, be it Indian classical music or jazz for that matter. We felt the need to present it in a different way. I think what's interesting is it wasn't really our different schools of music that brought us together. It was that unknown and having that background of that schools of music which has created this window to the ashram project for us. As Indian people, we can adopt different parts of our Indianness or of modernity to what suits us today. And that's kind of what the message of the music is really, is about almost appropriating your own culture and using that to its full extent, making it represent and express freedom. It's quite an iconic area that we're in at the moment for South African music, Sophia Town. Tell me, why did you pick this venue? We're at the African Freedom Station in Sophia Town and Steve Quena, who's the owner of the place, has really put a lot of energy into making this an open space for artists to come together and to share their work with one another. And uh, the space appealed to us because of its intimacy, it's a small venue. The historical narrative also about Sophia Town is also important, but not as important as what's currently happening in this hub today. There are artists who come to Joburg from all over the world, and this is one of the venues that they choose to play in. It's a humble space, and we thought that it would resonate with our journey and our search for our own freedom. play individual instruments that have quite a history to them. How has your music been received in terms of, you know, maybe some of the traditionalists and other people that are starting to come across your music? At every performance that we've had, we've seen such a diverse audience come and watch us and it's almost a different message within each performance for different people sitting there at the same time. Because it's different, it takes people out of their comfort zone and forces them to engage. And some of the pieces are very confrontational. They kind of shake you and really force you to be part of the space, even if you don't want to be part of the space. Tell me a little bit about the creative process that you guys went through to create this album. It's a very collaborative process. You can see each of our personalities coming through either one of the tracks. It was a learning experience putting the album together as an album because it also forced us to listen a lot to our own music. And I think that's something that we had never really done because we were so infatuated with playing it. Window to the Ashram is one of those albums I feel that you need to listen to very early in the morning or quite late at night because it's a completely absorbing experience. So 2018 is gonna be a big year for you. I do hope for us to go into the studio again um, quite soon to do another album. We already started working on new music and I'm curious now that we've kind of expelled this, what the next project is gonna sound like. 
by taking themselves and their listeners out of the comfort zone that so often accompanies tradition. Kinsmen reflect the realities of life in a rapidly changing world while evoking the challenge and the beauty that can accompany the unexpected.